What's up, guys? I'm Brian. I'm Lacey. O-Town Swing here the last Thursday night before Swing Over in April. Tonight, this is our all-levels 7.30 class. Chips, dips, chenets, whips. Yes, focusing on the behind-the-back whip. So we started out with our basic whip and then did a basic whip with an outside turn because the outside turn is kind of how we initiated the exit from this behind-the-back whip. And we'll start out talking about some common elements of the behind-the-back whip and how we get into this. You can lead this from a right-to-right -right handhold. Tonight, we just led this from a right, uh, or from a leader's left to follow his right, because it taught us also how to do this hand change. Uh, as we're leading one and two, we're coming in with that palm facing down to make the hand change from leader's left to right. We're cr leaders, footwork-wise, we're gonna cross in front on two, one, two, backing up three and we're just going to point on four. Creates a nice aesthetic lead line. And then we've got options on how to get out of here. We talked about followers always having the hand or the frame available. I'm always going to kind of rotate or move towards a connection when we're in the center here, especially if I don't know what's going on. So the first option, we're going to take this hand. We're just going to lead an outside turn. We're going to come up and over. Leader's holding our footwork on five, stepping back in the slot on six, seven, and eight. Kind of a funky way to end this. In the wild, you might come out of this with a free spin. Um, but so to get to a more comfortable hand. You ever hold, get a weird workshop move that starts left to left? This is this is how you want <laughs> to this is how you get, to get into this. it. But to end up in a more common handhold, we had a sort of a different ending to this. So behind the back whip again, one, two, three, and four. We're not gonna take the hand. Which is why followers, you never want to reach for the leader, you just want to be available. We're gonna establish arm to arm connection here and come around still up and over, but now leader's left to follow's right. We talked about the followers being slightly resistant to this movement so that we stay connected. You don't wanna be ahead of it. And we did talk about the arm staying in front of the body so that you're not late and you follow the turn, but so that you also don't hurt your own shoulder joint. Yes. Six, seven, and eight. End up in a more familiar handhold. Okay? That was option number two. Option number three, we're gonna go back to taking the hand, but now we're gonna do a hip catch. Rotation on five, catch on six, all right? You can come out of this uh, basic way with a free spin. There's a bunch of different ways you can count that. Sort of a versatile way that works with both slow and fast music is to hold on seven. We can tap on seven. I'm gonna bring the follower onto their left foot on eight, and then we're gonna leave this rotation nine and 10, 11 and 12 leaders were tripling on nine and 10, 11 and 12 also. And that timing's really nice. When we come into the hip catch, if we're here, if we're kind of we want to slow down our momentum so we're going to slowly change our weight into six so then we can really settle and tap on seven change weight on eight nine and ten triple step All triple right. triple so if we want to maybe lead that same pattern that hip catch with a free spin a little fancier right catch on six we're going to take this right hand from the hip up to the back of the shoulder almost in the armpit and we're going to lead a duck Okay, this is initiated, this motion is coming from my right hand down the line, and we spend a lot of time talking about duck technique, especially for the followers, and how to clear the arm there. All right, so if we're here. I like to tilt, so if the, if the connection is farther out on the shoulder or, or the back of the arm, I'm going to tilt so that I know I'm gonna clear the space. I might tiny bit collapse my shoulders and arms just to clear the head. And then I talked about how I, I tilt into the other leg. So I tilt into whichever leg I'm standing on, I straighten it out, I anchor step. Leaders, I'm watching the follower's head to try to make sure not only is he gonna clear my arm, but also gonna clear my torso. Anything that I can do to try to accommodate that rotation. And we talked about how um, Brian's leading me onto this foot and then sending the hand and the connection down the slot with that rotation in the wrist. He's just rotating through the wrist, sending me down the slot. Now our last option, if I didn't want the follower to travel down the slot, I'm gonna to try to make this, this rotation for the duck a tighter circle. And after I get about a quarter of the way around, there's also gonna be sort of a downward momentum to the lead, okay? So we're just gonna do this real slow. So if I make this a tighter circle, as she comes around after one rotation, going into one and a half, Left hand is coming up and I'm catching the shoulder blade. We're now facing each other. I'm gonna rotate and I have, follower has options for Three what they options. wanna do. If I don't feel like uh, bending in my spine, I just drop the head in the arms and be fabulous right here. I see musical. If I have a healthy back and healthy knees, I can sit bottom down, head up, hips down, head up. If I wanna dip, I have to do the opposite. If my head is gonna go down, my hips have to go up. I'm holding my own weight here. Brian's helping me with my balance. 
and come back up. The important thing, I'm not going with the follower. I'm not bidding at the waist. With upright torso, torso over the pelvis. If I go with the follower, we're both going to end up on the floor. We talked about how uh, dips are, it's really important that you lead in and then follow out. So leaders, you, you can't dictate if the follower bends or goes down. You don't know the health of their back or their knees. All you can do is rotate and then follow them. If the follower dips, you want to follow them with the arms and not with the chest. Wonderful. Thank you guys for coming. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Swing over. Coming up. Lesson or Oh my a gosh. Week. Announcements. All yes. right. This is it. Game time, people.